G'day everyone, welcome to this week's video. I guess you could call this the entrance channel part three. This is my third video back after lockdown that I'm done in this area. And one thing about the lockdown and having to stay in our local government areas is it's forced me to look harder for compositions in my own local area. As a result, I found some really differing compositions just in this area alone. But this week I wanted to concentrate on doing some long exposure photography and in particular around this area. I concentrated around the channel, over the far side here the other morning, and then underneath the entrance bridge. The entrance bridge itself here, built in 1967, links both side and north entrance and south entrance. It's a fantastic subject piece for a long exposure photography and I got some really nice shots up under the bridge this morning. The beauty with long exposure photography is that you don't necessarily need ND filters. It's quite possible to shoot long exposures just prior to sunrise or just after sunset. As long as you have a really stable tripod that you can keep the camera nice and still, perhaps a, a remote shutter release or using a two second timer, you can still achieve some really nice results with some long exposures. The thing I like about long exposure photography is that it can really change and alter a composition. It can take a really bland or dull scene and really create some interest in it. I basically only use two different ND filters when I'm doing long exposure photography. That's a 10 stop or a six stop filter. In all the photos you'll see coming up, I, I use a combination of long exposures, some without filters altogether, some with six stop and some with a 10 stop filter. I had a really nice sunrise the other morning over here on the far side over at the wharf over there where we've got some beautiful pastel colors in the sky. Unfortunately, at the start of the video, my microphone failed and a lot of the sound didn't come out. So I'll show you some of that footage now and then some of the other images I've captured around here this week. I've just come down low in the pre-dawn light and I'm on bold mode at the moment and I'm shooting one minute exposures in this blue hour and we've got some really beautiful light starting to appear on the horizon and it's given me an exposure of about one minute, one and a half minutes at um, f5.6. Compositions I've set up is a landscape composition with the post of the jetty in the foreground on the top rule of thirds and the lights from the entrance to the channel on both sides just framing the shot so the lights starting to come onto the horizon really fast now so I'm going to keep firing my shots and then I'll come back and have a chat to you a little bit more. I had a couple of 30 second exposures in this early morning blue hour and we've got a beautiful morning coming up here. It's hard to pick it up on the camera at the moment but we've got these light streaking of high cloud right across the sky in both directions. And this shot might even make a good panorama from up on the top deck up here but at the moment I'm just concentrating on being down low and shooting the blue hour and just some 30 second long explosions. Got a few pelicans and a few seagulls out here just settling on the channel. Just such a beautiful morning here. So finally this guy's finally illuminated right across now and taking on some beautiful pink light. I'm just exposing my histogram right across to the right hand side and currently I'm going with about a 20 second exposure at f9 looking really nice though on the back of the viewfinder just changing my composition ever so slightly and I'm going to just shorten up my shutter speed just a little a tad we'll go back to a 15 second exposure at the moment I've just got a, a six stop filter in and a 0.3 graduated filter to balance out the sky but we're getting some beautiful light here now. I'm manually focused so that the camera is not hunting. Um, I auto focused first of all and then I changed across to manual and just set my focus so I had my foreground here nice and tack sharp and then just left it on manual focus, put my filters on and firing these long exposures. That sky is just starting to illuminate with that beautiful pink colour now and I'm right down low. And as predicted, that high cloud's really taking on some really nice soft pink light at the moment. Just an absolutely stunning morning here. I'm so glad I made the effort to come down here this morning and capture this sunrise.
This looks like a perfect place to get a, a long exposure shot with a telephoto lens. I've got the 100 to 400 G Master lens on at the moment. I'm going to take a shot looking through all these pylons. It'll be very much a minimalist type shot. I'll probably put a six stop filter on just to smooth the water right out. But this makes a perfect composition here with the reflections in the water and a beautiful still morning this morning. A slight change in composition now I've come just to this side of the bridge and again I'm using the 10 stop filter and firing a one and a half minute exposure but I wanted to try and capture some of this beautiful coloured cloud on the horizon. I'm using the bridge as a leading line in the shot and once again I'm using the 100 to 400 lens I'm about 100 mil. It's amazing to think that um, as a kid I used to travel down here for my holidays and now that I live in this area and there used to be an old timber bridge that used to come right across here but this bridge was built in 1967 to replace the old timber bridge and I've actually fired some long exposures previously on the far side and I actually used some of the posts of the old bridge in the foreground to give it a little bit of foreground interest. I'll show you that shot at the end as well as some of the other images I've captured around here this week doing some long exposure photography. One last composition from this area I've just got some beautiful side lighting now on the on the bridge here so I'm just getting a long exposure shot using again the bridge as a leading line trying to flatten out the channel. Well guys, that's it. I hope you got something out of this video. I certainly enjoyed taking some of those images. You know what to do if you've enjoyed this video, go down below, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, then please subscribe, tap that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload my next video. If you have a comment or question, leave them below. I'll always try and respond. Hopefully you'll be around shooting some more landscapes soon. I'll see you then.